Today we're taking a look at these college basketball matches, which are happening on Tuesday, February 21st, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos and make sure to watch it till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Also check out our Patreon if you want access our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. You will find the link in description and comment section below. One more thing before we start, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions. You will find the link in the description and comment section below. Robert Morris Colonials vs Youngstown State Penguins Youngstown State has been a juggernaut on offense this season, it's hard to imagine the Colonials can keep up to an offense of this level. Neither defense is great, so definitely expect a high-scoring game. The scoring from Youngstown will inevitably be too much for Robert Morris to handle, therefore expect for the Penguins to win this game pretty comfortably. Our team pick is Youngstown State minus 3.5 points. Dwayne Cohill leads the Penguins in points and assists this season, he averages 18 points and nearly 5 assists per game. Cohill has led Youngstown State to being an excellent offensive team, scoring 83.8 points per as a team, 5th highest in NCAA. Overall the offense from the Penguins is almost flawless, having a fringe top 15 offense in the country. Defensively the Penguins have run into some problems, they allow teams to stick around in games due to their unorganized defense. The Robert Morris Colonials currently have a record of 14-15, placing them 7th in the Horizon League. After losing three straight earlier in February, the Colonials have bounced back to win three consecutive games. Most recently, the Colonials defeated the Milwaukee Panthers 80-60. Khalil Spear led the Colonials by dropping 14 points and grabbing 11 rebounds. 6 feet 3 inches guard Enoch Cheeks leads the Colonials in points, steals, and blocks, he averages 16.1 points, 2 steals, and 1.3 blocks per game. The offense from the Colonials has underperformed this season, only scoring 68 points per game on subpar efficiency. On the defensive end the Colonials have held up pretty well, limiting teams to 66.2 points per game. Our total pick is over 144.5 points. Pittsburgh Panthers vs Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets We think the Yellow Jackets will win on points in this game. The Yellow Jackets are 7-3 straight up and 8-2 against the spread in their last 10 games head-to-head -head against the Panthers. Our best bet is Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets plus 11.5 points. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets are 3-1, 2-1 at home, sitting in 7th place in the ACC. Offensively the Yellow Jackets are averaging 77.3 points, 41 rebounds, 18 assists, 2.3 blocks, and 6.5 steals. Defensively the Yellow Jackets are allowing 67 points per game. Key players for the Yellow Jackets are senior guard Michael DeVoe averaging 22.8 points, 5.8 rebounds, 5 assists, and 1.8 steals, as well as senior guard Jordan Usher averaging 15.5 points, 8 rebounds, 3.3 assists, 0.8 blocks, and 1 steals. The Pittsburgh Panthers are 0-2, 0-1 at home so far on the season. Offensively the Panthers are averaging 61 points, 39.5 rebounds, 14.5 assists, 9 blocks, and 14 steal. While allowing 76 points per game, key players for the Panthers are sophomore John Hughley F with 54 points, 16 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 block, and 1 steal and sophomore from Abdukal with 27 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists, 1 block and 5 steals. Our total pick is under 139 points. Virginia Tech Hokies vs Miami Florida Hurricanes This game is nothing short of a mismatch as the Hurricanes are clearly the better team and their record shows that. The Miami Hurricanes have been on a tier all season long and won't stop for anyone, especially the Hokies. Take the Hurricanes in this one. The Miami Hurricanes will enter this game sitting second in the ACC with an overall record of 22-5, Safe to say the Miami Hurricanes mean business this season. The Hurricanes owe a lot of credit to Isaiah Wong for their success so far this season. Wong has been the backbone to this Hurricanes team all season long as he currently averages 33.1 minutes, 16.4 points, and 4.4 rebounds per game. Expect another massive game from Isaiah Wong this Tuesday against the Hokies. 
the Virginia Tech Hokies will enter this game against the Miami Hurricanes following a hard-fought win this past Saturday against the Pittsburgh Panthers, which resulted in a final score of 79-72. The Hokies have now won three of their last five matchups and will look to keep that momentum up this Tuesday against the Hurricanes. The Virginia Tech Hokies aren't exactly a feared team in the ACC as they currently sit 11th in the standings with an overall record of 16-11. The Hokies' best player this season is without a doubt Grant Bazile. Bazile is one of the few reasons why this Hokies team has a winning record and his statistics reflect that. Bazile currently averages 27.6 minutes, 16.7 points, and 5.7 rebounds per game this season. Our total pick is over 153.5 points. Richmond Spiders vs. T. Louis Billikens We like the Billikens in this game. The St. Louis Billikens are 6-4 straight up and 7-3 against the spread in their last 10 games, head-to-head -head against the Richmond Spiders. Our best bet is St. Louis Billikens plus 1. The St. Louis Billikens are 18-9, 13-3 at home, in 4th place of the A-10 conference. Offensively the Billikens are averaging 95.3 points, 45.8 rebounds, 18.3 assists, 4.3 blocks and 11.3 steals. Defensively the Billikens are allowing 62.3 points per game. Key players for the Billikens are 6 feet 5 inches 200 pounds freshman Gibson Jimer averaging 15.5 points and 1 rebound, and 6 feet 9 inches 235 pounds junior F, averaging 10 points 10 rebounds, 0.5 assists, 1.5 blocks and 1 steal. The Richmond Spiders are 13-14, 11-3 at home sitting in 6th place of the 8-10 conference. Offensively the Spiders are averaging 77 points, 52.3 rebounds, 16.8 assists, 2.5 blocks and 9.8 steals. Defensively the Spiders are allowing 74 points per game. Key players for the Spiders are junior forward Tyler Burton 19.3 points, 7.5 rebounds, 0.5 assists, 0.8 blocks, and 1 steal and senior guard Jacob Juilliard averaging 9.5 points, 3.3 rebounds, 5.8 assists. Our total pick is over 135 points. Mississippi Street vs. Missouri The Bulldogs have been good on the road of late, winning their last three. They should be able to control the boards here especially on the offensive end as the Tigers are the worst in the country limiting opponents to single shot possessions. These rebound shots translate to points as the Bulldogs have been effectively turning rebounds into points. The Tigers have been garnering most of their points from beyond the arc and the Bulldogs have defended the perimeter very well this season, holding opponents under 30% on average. Lastly, Mississippi State should be able to feast down low against a subpar interior defense of Missouri. Take the points with the road dog here. Mississippi State plus 3 points. Mississippi State likes to play slow and will look to take the air out of the ball against a high-tempo Missouri team. This contest is a clash in styles to be sure, but we can expect to see several dead possessions via turnovers and forced three-pointers. Both squads rank top 100 in opponent field goal attempt rate, and even with flaws on the defensive end, points will be hard to come by. The Bulldogs have had only three conference games with over 70 possessions and one of those was a result of overtime. Likewise, the last two home games for Missouri have ended with 63 possessions or fewer. The play is the under. Under 138.5 points. Tennessee vs. Texas A&M This game will feature two teams with eerily similar styles of play. Both teams have been carried by their defense and relied on getting to the line. That being said, Tennessee comes into this contest like the big brother of Texas A&M, doing most things just a little bit better, particularly on the defensive end. The Vols should defend the key well and force the Aggies to generate points outside their element. Tennessee should likewise force a high number of turnovers against an Aggies offense that has been sporadic of late. Look also for the Vols to win the rebound battle and capitalize on the offensive glass. Take the road dog here. Tennessee plus 1.5 points. Tennessee is one of the slower teams in the country and the Aggies will not be looking to push the pace either, and only one game with at least 70 possessions has been had between two's last 10. Not only have we seen slow, methodic basketball, but we've seen teams bought in on solid defense and locking opponents down. Neither team has shot the ball particularly well, and we've seen both defenses strong on the glass, 
This game should feature multiple dead possessions with the stifling defense and limited shot attempts as each defense has been strong on the glass as well. The play is the under. Under 128.5 points. Western Michigan vs. Eastern Michigan When these teams faced each other back on January 10th, Western Michigan picked off an 85-79 win at home straight up and ATS as minus 2.5 favorites. The Broncos had gotten their lead as high as 15 in that game and were up by 8 at the half. Both teams shot about the same in all aspects, except free throws where the Eagles shot 90.5% but shot 9 fewer shots from the stripe than the hosts. If that number happens to flip in the favor in this game, that will make the difference. They'll also benefit from coughing up the ball after handing Western Michigan 17 turnovers. They've done a bit better later in that department on their home court, giving up just 13 in each of their last two games, including one against a stingy Akron defense. The Eagles also out-rebounded Kent State in their last game, 35-32. So they are capable of banging on the glass despite their season averages. Eastern Michigan is 2-1 ATS in their last three home games and Western Michigan is 0-4 ATS in their last four road games. Our team pick Eastern Michigan minus 2.5 points. They put up a combined 164 points when they first played the season, soaring over the 145.5 total put on that game. The Broncos have allowed 80.2 points per game over their last five while the Eagles have yielded 84.4 points in that span. On the flip side, in their last five Western Michigan has made 27 or more field goals on three occasions, with a high of 31 versus Miami, Ohio. Eastern Michigan has had three games of 26 or more in their last five, including 36 makes against Buffalo and 35 versus Ball State. In their last meeting, Eastern hit 27 and Western hit 28 field goals, and we saw where that took us. The over is 2-1 in the last three meetings and this game is primed for another as both teams will be scrapping and clawing to pull their way out of the basement. Take the over 153 points. Akron vs Toledo Toledo comes into this game on an 11-game winning streak. The Rockets are playing their best basketball right now. Akron has had a solid season, but the Zips are just 2-2 in their last four games and their decent road record of 5-4 is not close to their strong home record of 13-1. Akron has been inconsistent offensively this season, the Zip is shooting just 42.3% from the field this year, and Akron's defense also didn't hold up at home against Toledo earlier this month. Toledo scored 84 points against them, the Rockets' offense should again be the key in this matchup. Take Toledo minus 3.5 points. Akron has been much better at home this season, the Zips are 5-4 on the road and 13-1 at home. Akron has also been inconsistent offensively all year, the Zips are shooting just 42.3% from the field, and Akron has shot better at home. Toledo also held the Zip to just 40.9% from the field when these teams played two weeks ago. The Rockets are 48th in adjusted tempo, and the home team usually dictates the pace. But Toledo's defense should be able to limit the Zips' inconsistent offense, and the Rockets are likely to slow the pace once they build an early lead, which is likely. Take the under.